All right. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Today is Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving, November 23rd, 2011. Um, we had a few trades this morning. I believe we had two trades this morning that we took. And I will be happy to show you the results. Let me drag that DOM over here. There you go. All right. So we got uh, 24 ticks profit this morning on the ES. We didn't take any trades over here on the YM, but I'll go through all the trades that we took, the trades we didn't take, and the other trades, the trades that set up. Um, I'm going to start out here with the 4 tick range like I always do, uh, and I'll scroll back to the beginning of the day. All right, now pre-market, there was a trade right here. This was a George trade pre-market. It was going right into the zone, so we did not take that trade. Um, once the market opened up, the BBC dropped outside the box right here, dropped down below the elbow. <coughs> Excuse me. And dropped down below the elbow. We pulled back up to the BBC and we sold it short right here. I had made a mistake right here and I entered the trade in the wrong way. I got out of it with a one tick loss. So when it started to move down here, it did go the full two points, but I only got five out of the uh, nine points that it did give. Nine or ten points, not points, but ticks that it did give. I only got five of them. Um, well, actually, I got six, but I was minus one tick from this move right here. So I got a point and a half out of this this uh, two plus point move. All right. Then we needed a fresh bubble here on the uh, on the chop bands. So the next pullback to the BBC we didn't take. We were waiting for the fresh bubble, and that occurred right over. Oh, there was a fresh bubble there, but we had this hole down here, so we couldn't short right there. I was doing something and I missed this one. We we're talking about how we're going to tweet everything with the uh, how we're going to tweet all of the uh, swing trades and all that, all that business. How you know how to set up your Twitter account so that you'll get a text and a tweet if you want it. And we're also going to send it by email, but um, you know, just so that everybody gets it however they want in whatever format they want. But anyway, I missed this trade right here. That went for two points. Then we needed a fresh bubble, so we didn't take this pullback. We waited and waited and waited and still waiting. At this point, mind you, we're plus five ticks. Okay, we we're actually plus five ticks. Then we got this trade right over here. Now I was looking for two points, so the price pulled back up here to the BBC. We got our fresh bubble, lower swing. Price pulled back to the BBC. We shorted it right here. It went, I think it went five ticks again. Um, we took three out of that just to give us our two points that we were looking for. We hit our goal. And we stopped right there. Um, this right here, it pulled down again here. Let's see. This, yeah, this looks like it was a valid trade here, but this was after it was during the break, so we didn't take this trade right in here. Okay, uh, this was during the break period. Then, after the break, this pretty much brings us to where we are. Okay, the market's really slowed down here, but this is a valid trade right here. Um, <clears throat> the BBC got up above the box. And we had a symmetrical pullback down to the BBC right here with a fresh bubble here. So this would have been a valid long trade right here. All right. Um, we didn't take any of that. But let's just go over here and we'll look at the 10,000 contract. What happened over there this morning? We didn't take any other trades this morning, guys. Okay, i just point that out right now. On the 10,000 contract, we had a bearish cross right here with a pullback up to the BBC. At the time, there was just enough room between the BBC and support to take the trade. Um, we didn't take the trade because we were already in a trade over here, so we let it go. Uh, there was another pullback up to the BBC there, and I think there was another one over here. But on the 10K, we only looked to get the first pullback to the BBC. All right, so we're looking to enter there, and we did enter there. Um, you see we had a bullish cross here and a pullback here, but it didn't pull away from the BBC, so there was nothing on the long side. Um, again, here on the short side, we had a bearish cross pull back up to the BBC right here, which was an opportunity to short. Um, you know, we were going into the break right here, and we were done at that time. Uh, this is pretty much an indication right here on the 10K that, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, that that you could go long here, all right? Because we had the bullish cross, price pulled away and pulled back in, and it looks like it's moving up. Um, now I wanted to point out a couple of a uh, couple of things in here. Right down here on the DMT, we had a pierce of a red envelope. Price at the time was up here at 65. We were anticipating a five to six point drop from that. It dropped almost down to 60. All right, so we got most of the way down there for the five to six point move down. 
Um, I believe we had more than one of those today, though, didn't we? Yeah, we had another one over here earlier on when price was up at 68. We had one right here suggesting a 5 to 6 point move, then 68, 69, right in that area. Um, and obviously it did move down to 60, 61, right in that, in that range, so that worked out well. All right, that was the 10K. Now let me show you the 2100 tick. All right. Um, Hang on, it's just taking it a second to load up here. All right, it's taking it several seconds to load up here. Yep, here we go, the 2100 tick. Um, there were a few opportunities this morning on the 2100 tick using the Mike R, the, one of our partners, his trade setup. Um, we're looking for the cycle to be down below the 50. Uh, we had a pierce of the envelope down here suggesting a three to five point move down. That was from here. Looking for shorts after that. There was one right here. Um, a nice bounce off of there, giving us a three to five point move down. Now, the way that he trades it is if you keep getting lower swings, you can keep taking the bounces off the BBC. Um, and if the cycle's down here and it's not blue and headed up. So there were a few opportunities here to take his trades All right, this morning. And there was actually just another one over here, right here, a few minutes ago for a couple of points. Then another one here on the short side for a couple of points. Um, and another one it looks like is yeah right over here on the long side for a couple of points and this had a higher swing so there's another one setting up right here for a couple of points probably all right that's the Mike R trade setup that we have that is available to any of our partners and or people in the free trial um, now over here on the YM I'm gonna do something a little bit different today because yesterday's um, well, I think I am yesterday yesterday's Oh, it's because I clicked on the seven minute here. Hang on, it's loading up to seven minute. Because yesterday's uh, recording didn't work out. I'm just going to do yesterday's and today's combined. Now, we didn't trade any trades this morning on the YM. We did try to get into one trade, but we didn't get filled on anything. Um, I missed this trade. Now, what we were looking for on the YM was a bearish cross. We got that. The first pullback up to the BBC was right here, and we got that. I didn't see that trade happening, but it was a perfect trade. If I move this arrow a little bit, you'll see that it pulled exactly up to the BBC. There, exactly up to the BBC and dropped off of it. Um, there were a couple more pullbacks up to the BBC, but I was looking for just the first one. We had a bullish cross right here, but price never pulled away from the BBC, so we didn't take anything. Then we had another bearish cross. And I put an order on for this one, but I didn't get filled. Um, I wish I would have because I put it on right here at the top of this bar, and and it dropped, you know, 30 points right after that, quickly too. Uh, that that is all there was on the YM today. All right. So our our target was hit today. We had plus 24 ticks today. Um, but let me do yesterday in here on the YM because yesterday on the YM. I don't know if it's actually going to show the actual trades. I don't think so. Nope. I'll show you the trades. Yesterday on the YM, we took a divergent short trade right here, and we lost seven ticks on that. And we took a long trade over here, and we lost seven ticks on that. All right. So we lost 14 ticks per contract yesterday. Um, we were trading three contracts. So we lost 42 ticks on the YM yesterday. All right, we lost 42 on the YM yesterday, and we made 24 on the ES today. That, so that covers both days' recordings. I'll, I'll note that when I make the uh, file name that it covers uh, two days. Um, and that, and that was pretty much it, guys. Uh, we had, you know, the YM was much more cooperative today than it was yesterday. Um, what we look for on the YM. Uh, for those of you guys who are in here on a trial who are new, we look for it to get from the BBC at least down to the MA1. All right, the MA1 will often contain the price like it did right up here. Now, in this case, we would have looked for it to get from the BBC up to the MA1. And once it got to the MA1, you can either take profit or you can take your risk off. But it will almost always, if it's going to be a profitable trade, it will always go to the MA1. Well, uh, almost always, I have to say almost. But, um, if it's going to be a profitable profitable trade, it'll almost always go to the MA1. 
okay if you go back and look at all the profitable trades that we had a lot of them are cupped or held contained by the MA1 but if they're going to be profitable if they're going to win then they'll go to it all right with that I am just going to say I wish you all a happy Thanksgiving and I'm going to end the recording right now